All right, so let's make these uh, rules a bit simpler to uh, maintain and work with later on in this uh, on this site. We have three right now, three reaction rules and three separate uh, points of wording actions, which is kind of silly. That's redundant and that's repeating yourself, and you should not repeat yourself. Um, to do this, I'm going to head over into components and create a component that awards a user some Drupal points. And I'm going to do it like this. Let's see. Uh, add new component. And you can uh, uh, think a bit over what kind of component you want to uh, create. You, we can pretty quickly exclude the condition sets, the AND and OR condition sets. Uh, we could potentially use the action set, which only contains actions, no conditions. We could use a rule, which contains both conditions and actions. And we could use a rule set that contains both, well, contains multiple uh, conditions and actions. And when you don't know what, uh, which component to use, and you might want to extend it later on, a rule set is a pretty good choice, because that leaves all the flexibility to you. Uh, I suspect that it's a bit heavier to use than the other uh, components, but that's uh, life. Uh, uh, clock, clock cycles are pretty cheap uh, while working hours are expensive, so this might be a good, uh, the best choice for us. I'm going to use that. A rule set, and I'm going to call it uh, Award Drupal Points. Something like that. I'm going to use this tag for all the rules I'm creating. You can do whatever you like with this tag thing. It won't affect the uh, how, how the component actually works at all. Um, and now this part down here is the most complex part of creating a plugin. This uh, tells um, uh, rules what data you need to send into the component. And I'm gonna uh, take two parameters and one is the user that will that should have the uh, Drupal points and the second is the the number of points to award. So I'm going to start with adding a parameter that is a user. So I'm going to scroll down here under the entity I find user here. I'm going to call it um, uh, account to award. Or to, yeah, account to award. That's kind of nice. I'm going to call it account. I As far as I... Well, the, the word user is kind of... Uh, uh, natural to user, but that is uh, more or less reserved for the global user object, the, the acting user on the site. So account is a better name, yeah, unless you explicitly mean the uh, acting user, of course. And then I'm gonna use an integer here. Uh, let's double check that this uh, uh, field actually is an integer, because that will uh, be important. Drupal points into integer. Nice. Okay, so, oh, sorry. I'm going to take an integer as a parameter into this um, condition set. Um, number of points, I'm going to call it, and the machine name will be points. And that's it. Continue. And now I have my empty rule set here, no rules in it at all. So I'm going to add one. Um, Award Drupal points. That's kind of easy. Um, and I'm not going to need any conditions here at all right now. I might need them later on, you never know. But I'm just going to do an action here. Add an action. Um, and I'm going to use the set data value. And you can see here when I use the data selector here uh, that I have the um, the, the global site pseudo entity, it's not really an entity, but it's uh, displayed as an entity in rules. And the account, which is um, uh, brought into this component, and then the points that is also brought into the component, nothing else at all. And I'm going to dig into this account, and I'm going to use this field user Drupal points. I'm going to set this field value to, as we've seen in the previous exercises, to the value it just had, the account, field user Drupal points, and then add an offset, and that offset will be switching, ah, uh, switching to data selection, sorry. Oh, ah, I can't use the offset here. Crappity crap, okay, so let's do this another, um, another way then, ha <laughs> ha. 
um, award Drupal points. I'm going to create a new uh, calculate a value. Huh. What do you know? So this is an action that takes two numbers and, and produces a new number from them. So I'm going to take the account field user Drupal points and I'm going to add to that, switching to data selection here, the number of points. And I'm kind of, uh, yeah, okay, and down here I can uh, give a name to this new sum of these two terms. I'm going to call this uh, updated points, uh, points u or something. Okay, so first I calculate the value, so I have a single variable storing the, the new points because uh, for, uh, I can't use the offset and, and data selection together. Uh, so instead I'm, I'm going to need a, a single variable that keeps uh, stores the, the new value of, of the Drupal points and I do the, that here. And then I add the action set the data value. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set the data value account field user Drupal points and I'm going to set it to switching to data selection the points new the updated points and save and that's it and now I have created this component we can actually try it out here by executing it this manually if I go to the components here list of components let's execute that uh, the uh, count to award uh, it suggests that I award the currently acting user. Let's see, my account here, I should have 35 points, yes. Uh, and I can do that or I can switch to direct input mode and input a user ID here of 1, say, for, because that's my account right now. Number of points, so let's try minus 3 here or something. Oops, minus 3. And execute. Says it has been executed. And that means I should have 32 here. Right, it works. It even works with negative numbers. You usually want to have positive numbers, I guess, but negatives works as well. That's fine. And now, of course, I want to add this uh, message here. I, I set the new data value, and let's add an action here, displaying a message to the user saying, this uh, account has gotten three more Drupal points or something. And down here somewhere system show a message on the site this will show a message to the user uh, the user and let's use replacement patterns here mm -hmm. account name has got uh, let's see oh I don't have the number here ah let's use this one then now has this many Drupal points. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of a shame. Let's let's whoops. Let's copy paste this and see if we can trick the uh, the awarded number of points in uh, to display here. Switching to data selection, we have the points here. Okay, it's called points. So I'm gonna try. Um, um, well, let's see here, points, new points, like this. And I'm going to see if this works. Save. I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep this tab open so I can edit it quickly later on. Execute. Let's add to the current active user three points so I get come back to 35 points. Ah, didn't work. Maybe you could try points colon value or something, but I think this is not available uh, as a token replacement pattern. I'm not really sure why, but sometimes it isn't. Um, okay, so let's let's uh, be happy with with this message here. Then uh, let's edit this message here. Remove remove the last part and save. You could potentially do this, I guess by adding an action and uh, ah, there is no concatenation of strings um, action but we could potentially do that uh, write ourselves a new action that concatenates strings 
uh, and then you could do that in a kind of flexible way. Uh, but let's not do that right now. This will be fine for now. We're just going to work with components, so the actual output here is not very relevant. Okay, then finally, we have this component done and ready. Let's have um, the reaction rules here call these, uh, this component. So Drupal points for new accounts. Let's edit this one. Set a data value. Let's delete this one, this action. It should no longer by itself set the, um, the Drupal points field. Instead, it should call the component we just created. Scroll down to the very bottom. We have components. And we have the rule set award Drupal points. Which account should we award the account? How many points? 10. Save. And now we have actually more clear configuration here. It's easier to read. Rule set award Drupal points. Parameter award, account reward. Account number of points 10. That's kind of useful. Let's go back one step and do the same thing for the creating topics and creating tutorials. Creating topics. Delete this one. Topics should have um, let's make sure I remember 10 points. Oh, I did. It should be 5 points for the last uh, rule. Sorry about that. I'm going to update that before quitting this and ending this screencast. Award Drupal points to which um, user? Well, the node author or the acting user? The acting user, right? Current user should have 10 points for creating a new topic, done. And then for creating a new tutorial, delete, add new action, award Drupal points, the site current user should have 20 points. And that's it, almost done. Let's go back and update this. Uh, one here. You shouldn't get 10 points for creating a new account, but only 5. And that's it. Okay, so what's the point of this? The point of this is now that if we want to make changes to how the Drupal points awarding is done, like uh, displaying messages, sending emails and things, we can do that uh, in one place instead of three different places here. And we can expect that on this site we want to add many different rules for awarding Drupal points. And if you then want to change how the Drupal points awarding works, you have to do that in a gazillion different places. And it's much better to have that in one single place here uh, as a rules component. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next exercise. And we're going to have a, a closer look at some of the actions available inside, well, in rules that we can use. See you there. Bye.